this, I'm, I'm always thinking about death. I, I've had a lot of people whom I love a lot die. Um, 80 some family members have preceded me and lots of friends and I'm always thinking about it. I'm always thinking about the Lord too and the Trinity and the woman clothed with the sun. And so this painting comes from looking at images of uh, Jupiter. When the NASA, NASA photos came back of Jupiter, I found it really fascinating. They were really beautiful. And I looked at a lot of things and decided to put them together with this image that I had. I was also a Trekkie for years and years. So I had this idea that the second coming would be taking us into the universe to be able to play among the stars. And I, when I pray about it, it doesn't seem so ridiculous or, or petty as, as it sounds. So I was picturing in my head before doing this painting, having a large kind of um, spacecraft with windows that would be divided by the divisions of the canvases that would open onto space with planets. So I started doing that and it included having the Christ waiting for us as the second coming and he looks kind of more like a worried Apollo waiting for us with his arms reaching out doing this too, the typical, the traditional sign of the Trinity. Um, and he's reaching out and over here I put the woman clothed with the sun standing on the moon crowned with 12 stars. The sun kind of coming up over um, Jupiter. She's standing on the green moon. He seems to be standing on the green moon too. This is, this is Neptune. This is from that same Hopal uh, image uh, or the NASA image, the comparative size of the Earth against the size of, of Neptune. This red thing becomes Venus. <coughs> Father, um, the Father being somehow in the stars, the Son and the Holy Spirit being this bird that looks be across between a, um, a vulture and um, some large bird like a condor. And I decided to get rid of the spaceship because that didn't make any sense at all. And when I was showing this to uh, Jeannie Brady, who is the provost, she looked at this painting and looked at the same time at the painting that was in progress of the Virgin that we just looked at with the, the woman letting the vulture fly off the off the canvas and she said, well, this, that little kid under the vulture's arms, under the vulture's wings looks like this Christ and that this is his mother later on after the vulture has done his duty flying into Jupiter as though this is all good. I like that. And so I let it be. But when I developed the painting of the four horsemen, the, the church in the background developed because of that painting and didn't have anything to do with this painting. So here we are. I like this though. I like the worried face on Christ because he looks really welcoming and not threatening at all and not judging. Her face came really late. I didn't want her to have a face and then I just put it in. It looks, it looks pretty. Hmm.